In this video, we are going to go over what perimeter of a rectangle is, and more in general, what perimeter is, as well as how to find the perimeter of a rectangle, given a couple of pieces of information. Let's do it. So we've got this word problem. It's not really that much of a word problem, and then it's telling us all the pieces of information we need to know. It states, find the perimeter of a rectangle with length seven centimeters and width four centimeters. So a couple of simple things to go over, length, is usually defined as the longest side of a rectangle. So the length of a rectangle is the longest side, whereas the width is gonna be the shortest side. So you got the longer side and the shorter side. So I've drawn for us a rectangle here. We've got the width is four centimeters, so I'll put a four right there. And then we've got the length is seven centimeters. And let me make sure that I include those units right there and right there. Now, if we're looking for the perimeter, what is the perimeter? Well, the perimeter of something is the distance around an object or around a figure. So we can do this in one of two ways. We can come up with a general formula for the perimeter of a rectangle, or we can add up all four side lengths of the rectangle. I'm gonna do it both ways. So first, let's just add up all four side lengths, and that'll lead to a formula. So if we look at the side lengths, we know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are always congruent or the same length. So this would also be seven centimeters. It's opposite that length. And this is four, so this is four right here. So four centimeters. So what do we do to find the perimeter? We start here and we add seven plus four plus seven plus four. And we'll do that out here. So the perimeter is seven plus four plus seven plus four. And when we add all of that up, we get 11 and seven is 18 and four is 22 and the units would be centimeters because it's a length around. You can also imagine almost unfolding this rectangle into sides, kind of striking this out and having the four fall, and then that seven fall with it, and then the four fall with it. So you have like one straight line, like you've unwrapped the rectangle, and you'd have one straight line that is seven plus four plus seven plus four long. Pretty cool. Now, there's another way to find perimeter of any rectangle, and that would be coming up with what's called a formula, which is something where we can just plug in the values and have our answer that we want come right out. Let's see how this formula works. So let's say that we've got any length of any rectangle. So I'll draw a rectangle right here. So we'll call that length L. Now I'll call it capital L. And then this width would be W. This would be the same length L right there. And this would be the same width right here. So if we want the perimeter of that rectangle, well then the perimeter would be equal to L plus W plus L plus W, right? So L plus W plus another L plus W. Now we see that we have two lengths being added together. So two times L is happening there, or you could think of it as adding like terms. And then two widths, W plus W. And so this is the formula that we get for the perimeter of any rectangle. You could memorize it, or you could think about how it makes sense. Width, width, 2w, length, length, two times length. Let's see how this formula now works for us with the same exact problem. So another way to get to the 22 centimeters, we can notice that our length is seven, and that our width is four. So I'm just gonna write that off to the side here. So the length is seven, and the width is four. So in our formula, we can replace L with seven. It tells us to do two times L. So two times, I always put parentheses to show that we're inputting a seven in there. I'll show that a little clearer here. Two times W, you would have parentheses there to represent the W value. And the width is going to be four. All we have left is a little bit of order of operations. So we multiply first, two times seven is 14. We can also multiply that as well. Two times four is eight. And then when we simplify 14 plus eight, we get 22 and the units are still centimeters. There you have it folks, a way to do perimeter just by the old school thought process of adding up all the sides and then seeing where the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle comes from. Some teachers might teach it this way, others this way, others both ways. You're prepared for all of it and you know why it works. Sweet.